Hello friends, let us study about the local static reflex. To local static reflex. What is local static reflex? Local static reflex, they exert their effect on the same limb from which the stimulus have initiated. Some of the important local static reflex, for example, are the reflex control of anti-gravity muscle tone, which we have seen in the stretch reflex. Then we have positive supporting reaction because of which we are able to stand erect. You know, our limbs, our uh, legs, they act as if they are the pillars and we are supporting ourselves. That's called as supporting a positive supporting reaction but we can't have all the posture always in an erect position right we cannot be standing all the time for all posture we definitely have to lift our limbs sometimes or do some other posture other than standing that time there is inhibition of these positive supporting reaction and that we call it as the negative supporting reaction we are going to go to each one of them so hold on next is what is the, it's a local uh, reflex. So local static reflex. Who is the center? The center is your spinal cord. Now, let us go to the first one. That is the reflex control of anti-gravity muscle tone. For this, you have to remember the basic stretch reflex. How is this basic stretch reflex is going to maintain the muscle tone of my anti-gravity muscle? When we are trying to stand you know, when we are trying to do that, we actually are doing it against the gravitational force. When we do that, there is some amount of stretching. There is always some amount of stretching of our extensor muscles, our anti-gravity muscles. This stretching is going to ultimately lead to a local stretch reflex, which is going to maintain the tone of these muscles. In turn, they are going to maintain a tone of these muscles and these muscles in turn are going to keep your body erect. Now, what is the positive? So here, what is the main thing that we have to remember is the stretch reflex. This is the main thing that we have to remember. And uh, if I ask you again, you know, again, the stretch reflex, the same thing. So if this is the plane where you are standing, obviously on the earth, if this is, if this is the plane, here always the gravitational pull is directed in this way right and i am a person we human beings if we want to be erect suppose i want to stand now from this position to this position if i do i'm going against the gravity this is the direction of gravitational force and what are we trying to do to maintain an erect posture to maintain an erect posture we actually have to go against the gravity right for that we require the anti-gravity muscles to come into picture and these anti-gravity muscles have to maintain a tone to keep us standing for a long time, right? Hence, here the stretch reflex is the main contributor for the tone of my extensor muscles, especially the anti-gravity muscles. Next is the positive supporting reaction. What is this positive supporting reaction? Positive supporting reaction. Well, how is it characterized? I should say a simple word as if you are standing, you know, erect with your limb. Think that your lower limbs are like pillars who are making you to stand in an erect posture. It is characterized by simultaneous reflex contraction of both extensors and flexors of a limb. How we have seen in our slide of posture fixation, where both agonist and antagonist muscles, they both have to contract so that you convert your lower limb into a solid rigid pillar okay so positive supporting reaction obviously play a very important role of steadying the ankle joint in standing posture afferent impulses from the stimulated skin of soul the soul your foot they act as a receptor and the muscles are your proprioceptors now, if this positive supporting reaction disappears, that's what is called as negative supporting reaction. So, other than standing in an erect posture, we do need to make other uh, posture. We need to take up other postures. Like, we even for walking, we cannot be standing all the time. We cannot have the extensors being stimulated all the time. We definitely need it to be 
you know an alternate methods as if you know one time one of the limb has to flex and the other time the other limb has to uh, extend means there has to be contraction of that so we require negative supporting reactions for doing the dynamic taking up a dynamic posture and basically when you are trying to walk it is referred as the disappearance so what is my negative supporting reaction negative supporting reaction is referring to this disappearance of the positive supporting reaction it is an active phenomena which is initiated by stretch of the extensor muscles this helps the limb to be used for activities other than supporting the body weight your positive supporting reaction is basically supporting your body weight but when you remove this uh, positive supporting reaction when you want to walk or you want to do any dynamic posture you actually need the inhibition of the positive supporting reaction for that posture 